Hey what's up guys this is Forever Lone Yugi and today I want to show you guys how to change your audio file in the Duolink's Steam version from uh, English will save you from humiliation. or Korean into Japanese as you just hear right now. Uh, the current settings is the default one so we only have an options between English or Korean and we don't have a Japanese options. Well in the mobile this feature does exist but uh, for some reason this feature is missing in the steam version so just go ahead and close the, the app and then you want to go to this uh, github link uh, provided by Wei Zhou Hong so full credit to him for figuring these things out and then you go to this just scroll down and go to this mega link as soon as you open the mega link go ahead and click download uh, this file so 2.8.0 assembly c -sharp .zip. go ahead and download that I already have that downloaded so uh, and then just extract the, the thing basically pretty standard uh, so uh, once you got it extracted just uh, go ahead and cut it I guess and then you go to right click your steam go to the steam apps common dual links Yu-Gi-Oh dual links and then you go to this one DLPC data and then you go to the folder managed uh, as you can see we also have an assembly c -sharp DLL in here so you want to go ahead and back up that thing right so uh, after you back up that then you just copy paste it the one from the one that you just downloaded and after that go ahead and reopen your dual links uh, app from the steam right right now you probably heard the music is a little bit off it's not the usual music isn't it right so this means you are correct uh, you've done the step correctly thus far and then as soon as you go to the settings and then you go to the change language and then change audio you'll find a Japanese language over here and then just go ahead and click download right as soon as the download completed just click on start uh, and then you should notice the audio changes as soon as you click on this character See? <laughs> right so <laughs> uh, with the voice changes this the background songs also changes I guess but if you do prefer the old sound or the old music I'm sorry uh, just close the app and then you go back to this folder so if you want to revert back to the the old music uh, the background music just copy paste it back the original assembly C sharp into this one uh, and then you're good to go basically uh, the only thing that will change is that uh, I mean the voice still there the Japanese voice uh, is just the background music will go back to the old one but if you just keep it like this then you will get new music <laughs> All right, uh, that's it from me. This I think it's pretty simple. If you have any questions, just uh, go ahead and leave a comment. I I leave all the links in the description. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.